I get the crime scene. <laughs> um, well, as you know, uh, this summer I mostly have been driving the, the Scania. Mm -mm -mm, that one. Uh, but mainly my main truck is that oh, I can't reach it. <laughs> it's the Volvo that is standing like right next to it. Uh, and uh, I have been driving daytime all summer and this week I have been driving nights. Uh, it doesn't happen very much during the night shift. It's kind of like only you're driving from point A to point B, back to point A again, and on point A where you get back home, you unload the truck and you load the truck, and yeah, that's kind of what happens during the night, so it's not much fun at all. Um, so, my two favorites. This is one we're playing with today. So I was thinking like today we're going to make a safety check around the truck. I'm not sure if I remember everything from school. Like every day we check the oil and we check the, the tires and the more like rare. We check the lights and everything because on these more than new trucks it's always like a warning sign or something if the light is broken or if it's something else that is wrong. So. The mostly we check the oils and check the, the tires <laughs> so that we can have something to roll on. But we're going to do the full check today. So <laughs> follow me out and we're going to start the check. As you know for now we always check the oils first before we start anything. <laughs> looks good there and the oil looks good saw on the display earlier uh, it was low on the on the washer fluid so go to go in into the container and get some Beautiful weather and wrong container. So I got the key and we have the container. Let's see if we can open it. It used to be like have really heavy doors on these things. Let's see if we manage to get it open. <laughs> I'm probably never going to get this one close. <laughs> Anyways, here we have all the uh, yeah, it's like oils and glucose and stuff. It's actually a thing I like a lot. Uh, it's this. I haven't seen this before, but we have it here at work. And I think it's really smart. A really smart thing. So we put the container here. And we have the washer fluid here. And we take this handle. And we do... Just like that until it's full. Now we're just taking the this can. And eat the
A whole can of flu. Uh, the good part about the Volvo trucks is that I, I can actually reach the, the hood <laughs> without even using this strap. And I don't need to jump either. <laughs> But it would be good if I had a little bit more muscles. There. Now it's closed. So we're going back with the... With this. Back to the container. Let's see if we can close the doors to it. Let's close the doors. Went much better than I expected. With the stuff under the hood checked, we are going to turn the truck on. Oh, of course. The reasons in our trucks we have this is you have to blow in it. You can't start the truck without having like, make sure you're not drunk. So I'm going to blow in this one. Uh, and since I didn't brought my own, you, you know, it, it looks very disgusting. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to take my jacket around it. Nope, I'm not drunk. So I can start the engine. <laughs> uh, so let's see what fun um, like codes we have here. So I'm going to press on the this button. We don't have any EBS on the trailer, on the wagon. This one doesn't work either. Uh, it's the one that is make a warning if you're getting too close to another car. Oh, and that was it. Because we already filled up the washer. Yay! Now we're going to go around the track and make sure that no lamps are broken. I'm going to turn on the headlights. And the left blinker. The headlights are working. The left blinker is working. The small lamps are working. Yep, the blinker heel works. And the lights. I can see one broken lamp there. That one is working and that one is working. All of these are working. The lights here, the left blinker is working. The lights up there are working. <laughs> the left blinker works and the headlight is working. So I'm going to turn off the headlights. We're going to see if the right blinker works and we're going to see if the brake lamps are working. So when you're hitting the brakes, you can either, I, I guess you aren't that fast that you can press the brakes and run out. So the best thing you can do is to grab anything you have in the truck on the pedal and kind of like move the seat forward. I'm going to show you. So what I found was this.
brake lamp is working. Works on the track. You can hear it. The clicking, the clicking sound is the brake. And they're working in the back. And guess what? We forgot the blinker. So we're running back in and turning on the blinker. So we're putting the right blinker on. They work on the truck. And we're going in the back. Du -du -du -du. Yep, they're working there too. Gosh, <laughs> the birds are flying around here, scaring me. And oh, as you see, the blinker works. And the brake lamps works. And here. Yeah, the right blinker works. There. Everything looks good so far. going anywhere now but I still want to make sure that the belt is working so we're putting on the seatbelt like that and it's working yep and since no one is here sleeping I can check the the horn and see if it works uh, we have two horns on the Volvo it's the small horn it's here that one works and we have the big one it works too! <laughs> I probably scared some birds, but we don't need the birds here. So, the horn is working. We're going to see if the air tanks are working. So we don't have any oil leak or anything in that compressor. that one was dry too but we have like a time limit on the track after three minutes it's kind of like shut it down itself done with everything outside the track now we're going to see if the brake works and if the the servo works The brakes are working. Just come to put the truck back on its place. So I'm going to back it up in. Yeah, just in there.
uh, hit the check on the Volvo. Uh, if you liked it, like it. And if you want to make a comment, make a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and if you want me to do anything else or do you want to know anything else, drop a comment and I will see if I can do it and make it. And just, yeah, let me know what you think and see you in the next video. Bye.